Ah, ah, ah. Hello, hello. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in, Dismarid. Welcome in, Lay. Welcome in, Big Iron. Welcome in, Papaya Dance. Welcome, welcome. Let me get switched over. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. Is the chat box... Why is the chat box like that? No, did I did I fuck around with it? Wait, what's... Okay, no, no. I thought I was on the wrong scene in OBS. Oh, dear. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Hello, everyone. Hello. I hope everyone is having a lovely, wonderful day, evening, morning, whatever time it is for you. I have a teeny tiny little bit of a headache. I took some ibuprofen earlier, so with any luck, it'll be gone within the next like half hour or so. Um, God, I am so tired. <laughs> I, I think I need to like if I'm doing like a late stream, like a really late night stream, I think I need to like not schedule a stream for like the next day. Because like even though it's it's like, you know, it's it's like 6 p.m. right now. Like I'm still tired. Right? You're you're tired too? Yeah, I feel that. Like I was it was we went for quite a while last night. We went for quite a while. If you missed that stream, the VOD is available on Twitch. Um speaking of VODs, Ronan pointed this out to me last night, but apparently I had my VOD set to subscribers only, and I have no recollection of doing that. I have no recollection of turning that. Yeah, you, you knew. You guys knew about it. You guys knew about it. I did not know about that. I had no recollection of turning that on. I, I turned it off because, like, my VODs are default unpublished. But um, if I do a collab, then I publish the VOD, just because, like. I don't know it's, it's fair to the other person that you know it gets seen but i i had no idea that it was subscriber only until yesterday <laughs> so that explains a few things that explains a few things um i had absolutely no idea because i i don't even remember turning that feature on i don't remember turning that feature on maybe possibly i turned it on at at some point, but I, I, I don't remember at all. I don't remember. Aloha, Gator. Welcome in. Start charging to release collab bots. Easy money. <laughs> the knock feature can turn on your camera. Yeah, no, I, I don't fuck with that shit. They actually, um, I just saw a tweet that Twitch made earlier today that said that they actually turned off the feature that turns on the webcam. Also, my laptop doesn't have a webcam to begin with, so it wouldn't be a problem for me. But even still, I refuse to use the collaboration feature because it is functionally stupid to have when Discord exists. Like, if I want to, like, collab with someone, I'll just message them on Discord and be like, hey, like, like I did with Ronin. Like, I was just like, hey, let's, because I don't, I need to plan things in advance. I need to plan things in advance. I am not the type of person that can just, like, do, I mean, I can do things spontaneously. It's not impossible for me, but... It just, I just feel more, um, I, I just, I need to have things planned out. I plan out my schedule a week in advance. I section out my day into specific times of when I'm going to be doing something. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not using that feature. I think it's a stupid feature and it was created by a stupid person. <laughs> so knock on someone's stream, leave immediately when they let you in. Like, it's so funny because like, I was actually curious as to how it worked. So I went to YouTube and I searched like how to use the knock feature on Twitch. I could not find a single video on how to use it. Every video that came up was how to turn it off. Nobody wants to use it. Nobody wants to use it. Nobody wants to use it. Like it was stupid, 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 stupid feature. Like. <laughs> You can knock, delete the request, and knock again. Yeah, I remember when it first dropped, like, it was turned on by default for everyone. Why would they make that decision to turn it on by default? Like, they have some real ding-dongs working at Twitch, that's for sure, because that is like, like, oh yeah, it can turn on your camera. Oh yeah, it's enabled by default. Oh yeah, there's no way to turn it off. Like, it's, it's stupid, it's stupid. Oh, Meet and Callie tried it, really? Looped audio and led to massive audio loop? Really? Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, I get that Discord has problems. I've had issues with Discord, like, sound issues in collabs. But 
just like it's it's functionally just not a good feature and just the way they introduced it too was so terrible like definitely doomed to fail from the beginning Arclados, welcome in really doomed to fail from the beginning not not a smart feature let me look it up on youtube again to see if there's anyone who's actually like used it let's see with access to internet browsers oh dear to use twitch knock how to turn off twitch knock the first result the first result how to get rid of guest star knock feature on twitch second result yeah no <laughs> smuckers welcome in yeah nobody nobody wants to use it nobody wants to use it like even like when i was actually looking at the material twitch provided onto like the knock feature they literally don't even tell you how it works they just say like oh yeah you can use it now but they don't tell you how it works or even like what it does they just say like yeah you can use it but they like the necessary information was not provided and that was just like a, a pretty big failure on their part among other things um i gotta be real with you like i i know like people are upset about the oh shadow welcome in like people were pretty upset about the karaoke thing too but i have no i have no horse in that race because i don't watch karaoke streams i generally speaking don't like karaoke streams unless the person who's singing is either they have to be singing songs i like and they have to be really good at it they have to be a goaded singer and they have to be singing songs i like and almost like those two things never overlap those things never overlap for me i i don't know i just don't really it's not really interesting content for me uh, karaoke just isn't really interesting content for me i i just it doesn't do anything for me sorry if that's a controversial opinion <laughs> but i it i just it it's not entertaining to me it's it's not they also killed the lo-fi and other radio type channels yeah yeah hmm. we made a feature what's that you want to know what the feature is not my job sorry yeah it's it was very weird it was very strange it was very strange like i was trying to find some information earlier on like twitch's um like some specific information that i needed and like i couldn't find it because like i hear things i hear people say like oh yeah actually twitch you can't do this or you have to do this in this specific way and then i go to look for like supporting documentation for the claim on twitch and i can't find it so i i i, I don't know i i don't know they they I, they're not sending in their best at that place corporation business i don't even know what twitch even is is there something in my water bottle what the fuck is that oh that's probably one of the little things from the water filter okay probably means we have to change the brita no 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 because like sometimes um you know how it's like when you have a Brita and the little like things like the filter things kind of like come out of it when it's getting a little bit old? That's that's the problem. That's that's the issue. It's it's nothing bad. It's just like a piece of charcoal or whatever. It it happens from time to time. Oh, and I just drank it too. Hopefully that doesn't kill me. <laughs> I'll be fine. It wouldn't be the first time. It wouldn't be the first time. Like, I remember, um, I bought this soda from the store and I, I went to open it. It was full, by the way. It was a completely full soda. Like, there was no indication that the level of liquid in there was less than the other bottles in the, like, fridge that I got it from. I went to open it and the cap was loose like because you know when you open a soda bottle it gets it's like you have to break the plastic seal the plastic seal was already broken and like i didn't want to go back there and have to like argue with the cashiers at fucking walgreens and be like hey my soda is opened and then be like you just opened the soda so i was just like well i guess i'll fucking drink it if i die i die and i drank it and nothing happened so you know 
I, I have, I would say I have a strong stomach. I don't get sick very easily unless I either drink a lot or I eat too much food. I don't, I, I honestly can't remember the last time I've ever gotten food poisoning. Probably when I was like a child. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever gotten food poisoning since I was like a child. So, like I said, it's a skill issue, honestly. <laughs> uh, hold on. There we go, there we go. What's interesting, so you know how like gambling is banned on Twitch, right? Or at least I thought it was. I've been getting a lot of, I don't know about you guys, what kind of ads you guys get on your Twitch, but I've been getting a lot of ads for this thing called like hard rock bets. And it appears to be some kind of like sports betting platform. And I, I, I was, I don't understand if gambling is banned on Twitch, then why are they showing advertisements for gambling products? Like that, that makes no sense to me. Like it, it's, it's a gambling platform and you're not allowed to gamble on Twitch, but you're allowed, you're showing gambling ads. Like what? Gambling is banned for streamers, not advertisers. Yeah, that's that's kind of bullshit. I don't know. I think that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> like, hello, like what? Like you're like okay. Like I don't I don't support gambling. I'm I'm not saying gambling is good. I don't support gambling. But like, it doesn't make sense for you to ban gambling for your streamers and yet allow ads for gambling platforms. That's like, that doesn't make sense to me. Twitch has been known to be double-sided. Fair, fair enough. That's that's also true. That is also true. Like, it it it's, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, there are some FTC concerns about it. Let me look this up. Cause I they had like a celebrity endorsing it. Um. Oh yeah. An on is this like an online casino? I keep getting the eSports e World Cup hosted by Saudi Arabia for some reason. <laughs> oh dear. Play Casino. Oh, it is like a gambling platform. The website doesn't even ask me if I'm over 18. Is that no- well, I don't- then again, I don't really visit gambling websites. But I, I feel like normally, shouldn't gambling websites ask you to like confirm your age before you access them? Is that because like tobacco, no, do tobacco websites do that? I know like weed websites do that. Like they do it for weed, but like, I don't know if they do it for tobacco. <laughs> One second of a popular song, real shit. <laughs> I love how at the very bottom of this page, they have like gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Like, it's in the tiniest text possible. The tiniest, tiniest text. You heard that Saudi Arabia has a minor percentage share in Nintendo? Oh man, I saw the, um... I saw this post on Instagram. Booze 2, yeah. That was basically saying, like, oh yeah. The Nintendo Museum in Kyoto, you have to book three months in advance. Which somehow does not surprise me, because things that open up in Japan always have that fucking problem or things you need to book them like you have to book it at this specific time a month in advance on the full moon um but also you have to spin around three times and juggle two water bottles while you do it um it's, it's, it's absurd like i've tried to get into the kirby cafe twice and because each time it was like okay like you have to wait, you have to do it like the, the, the registrations open up on the 23rd of the previous month at like midnight, you know, and it's, it's such a stupid way to do things. I really don't like the, like, ugh, it's, I, I, I don't even want to go anymore because of how much of a pain in the ass it is to get in there. Like, I, I hate waiting and I hate like absurd, like sign up like things like there's this uh, there's this place in um where is it again it's in kyoto it's a i think it's a scam restaurant it's called kichi kichi omurice and it's run by this very like nice and funny old man who's like popular on social media but his shit is a scam because he charges 30 dollars 
for a plate of omu rice. I don't care if you're getting a fucking show. That's too much to pay for fucking something you could make yourself for like less than two dollars. Less than 500 yen. That is insane. He is like scamming people. He is like, I, I see through his lies. I see through his lies. I don't care how nice he is. If he's charging $30 for that shit, he is scamming people straight up. Like, and I, I saw a post where he's basically saying like, oh yeah, we have a new reservation system now and it only opens between like two o'clock and six, two o'clock and five o'clock and 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And also you have to be at the restaurant half an hour before. And also you have to like do all this other like stupid shit. And it's like, fuck you, dude, fuck you. I think he's taking it. Yeah, he is taking advantage of people. He is. And it's like, everyone knows him. It's like, oh, he's like the nice, funny old man with the pink hair on social media. And I'm like, no, no, fuck that guy. <laughs> he's scamming people. He's scamming people. File in, welcome in. There are places that charge like a thousand dollars for a place of a plate of essentially Waffle House food. Yeah, I it's not even like a nice place either. It's literally just like a hole in the wall. I've like passed by there before. It's literally just a hole in the wall restaurant with like less than 10 seats. It's 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 like it's not it's not anything to write home about. But, you know, stupid tourists will just go to social media popular places. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm still moving, going to. I'm saying going to because I need to m not motivate. I need to will it into existence. I'm still going to move back. But, you know, now that there's more people like me, I don't want to say like me, but you, you get more, more tourists there. It definitely does sour my enjoyment I my enthusiasm my enthusiasm it does sour my enthusiasm a little bit because I know that I will always be compared to them and that's something I can deal with it's something I'm willing to deal with but it's just kind of ick, you know you went to wait smuckers you went to a host club oh my god 280 for four drinks oh no dude you got you got i dare i say you got scammed but 280 for four drinks i get you're paying for the experience and the ambience but that's crazy were they at least nice there were they at least nice to you did, did they make you feel important did they, did they at least make you feel important like i've never been to like um a host club or a made cafe before because i think they're expensive and overpriced and also because like i am a shy person and that much like social interaction may in fact kill me um and also just because like 30 bucks oh they said they said 30 bucks for all you can drink they they said that okay okay well, yeah were the drinks at least nice i i hope so i hope so probably they were probably watered down but you know, you know, 30 bucks. For, I mean, 30 bucks for all you can drink isn't terrible. It's, it's not that bad. I remember one of my friends um, actually just got back from Thailand recently and she picked probably the worst time of the year to go to Thailand because of how fucking hot it is. <laughs> Like, every picture she posted on her social media, she was, like, drenched in sweat. <laughs> Cocktail was watered down and the beer was in a 10-ounce glasses. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Like, also because the idea of, like, paying someone to be nice to me kind of gives me the ick, you know? Like, like, it's one thing if, like, you know, I, the cashier, like, is nice to me, right? At, like, Starbucks or something. That's, like, one thing. I don't, like, whatever. But, like, people whose, like, job it is specifically, like, to be nice to me because I'm giving them money, like, that, that, that weirds me out a little bit. That makes me a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> that would make me, I don't, I don't know. It, it, it just is it's not for me. It's not for me. Because it, it's, like, I don't know. I, I'm someone who values, like, genuine relationships. So the idea of having like a simulated transactional relationship with someone is just kind of like, it, it gives me the ick a little bit. It gives me the ick. It gives me the ick, you know. 
Do I need another tissue? I might need to get another tissue soon. I did take my allergy medicine today, though. I did take my allergy medicine. Oh, dear. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, I also did some more, um, some more studying today. Um, your homie helped you get out of there after paying 40 bucks. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Oh, man. So, I, I, I think I told you guys before, but I'm taking a, um... TEFL class, teaching English as a foreign language. Um, and I'm basically having to like almost relearn certain aspects of the English language because there's like, I like obviously I'm an eloquent person. I understand how to use adjectives and adverbs and like how to speak and how to like get my point across. But like a lot of it is just stuff that I just kind of like know instinctively and don't really think about. And like, like, like the other day, I learned what a gerund is. I never learned what a gerund is in school. Yeah, I never learned plural possessive in school. I mean, maybe I did and I just don't remember, but I know for certain that I never learned what a gerund is. G-E-R-U-N-D. And like, I know what it is. Like, I, I know instinctively what it is. I just never knew the name for it and like how specifically to use it. Like, let me, let me give you an example. No, gerund, G-E-R-U-N-D, not, not the witcher dude. <laughs> it is a form that is derived from a verb, but functions as a noun. So like ending in I-N-G in or, um, yeah, hold on, let me, let me pull up a chart here. Um, what are gerunds? Let me look at this picture from thesaurus.com. A, a verb that ends in I-N-G that is used as a noun. Like, I know, like, what I don't know, like, I don't know what that means, but I know what it means, if that makes sense. Like, let's see, let's see an example. Um, singing, singing. I know what singing means. I know how to use the word singing. I know how to use it in a sentence, but I just didn't know it was a gerund, right? And, like, the idea of, like, like, because it's weird, because it's like, if I didn't learn about it, then is it really that important? Cause it's like, <laughs> I'm learning how to like teach English and I'm just thinking like, if someone tried to explain this to me, I would not understand it. I would not understand it. So that's already kind of like a bad sign, I suppose, that like the English language is just horribly, horribly, um, overly complicated and fucked up. Like today I was learning about something. What was I learning about? Oh, I was learning about, um... Here we go. I wrote it down. The adjective order. The adjective order. Oh, Moose, welcome in. Which is not something that I recall ever learning about, but it's just something I instinctively know. You're teaching English abroad? That's the plan. That's the plan. Like, I did not know about the adjective order. I'm going to teach you guys what the adjectives order. We're, we're doing another learning stream today. The adjective order. There's like a lot of these too. Like, this is crazy. I did not know how many of these there were. So the order, like when you are using multiple adjectives in a sentence, the order they go in is opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and use in that order. Like it, cause it like I, cause it's like you know when you see a sentence and it's like the adjectives are like in an order and you're like that looks odd, but I can't put my finger on why that's odd. It's like one of one of those things. Like an example, let's let's see, um, like like for example, if I were to say the large red wooden table versus the wooden large red table. Right, the, the first one, that sounds better than the second one. Like, I, at least to me it does. And I never knew why that was, but now I know why that is. Tell someone the red big balloon over there in the instant. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's the, it's the big red balloon, but I could not have told you why until like today. I could not have told you why for today. And this is like a lot to remember. I actually wrote it down because I am going to like forget this if, if I don't write it down. I, I had to reference it a lot because I was looking at this and I was like, this is wrong, but I don't know why it's wrong. It's it's very strange. There's there's so many things about like my language that I never knew. And it's like 
It's kind of funny to me because like a lot of people like teach English abroad without having any sort of like certification or knowledge of like the English language. Like the TEFL course is not like a requirement for me. It's something I want to do to, you know, make me a more qualified applicant for jobs. Um, but I, I like, I'm like thinking like if I like didn't take this course and I got, I looked at a book and it said, okay, today you need to teach your class about gerunds. I'd be like, oh no, I'm in way over my head. <laughs> uh, it's because in alchemy, the order of the runes matters to describe the arcane rules taking place. That's actually kind of a interesting way of describing it. Like, the, the order of the rule runes matters to describe the thing taking place. A certain British English teacher in Japan would like to know your location. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I have heard it is, like, relatively easy to get a job provided you have, like, a college degree teaching English. But, you know, I, I just want to raise my chances because you never know. Like, there's competition for these things. And I would like to be, you know, have a better chance at getting in. Because Lord knows, like, my search for, at least here, searching for a job is, like, a pain in the ass. Like, there's another there's another streamer I uh, follow. And she wasn't able to find a job in her home country. So she got a job teaching English in Russia. And she's going to move to Russia because that was like literally she couldn't find a job in her own country. So she's like, okay, I guess I'm going to get a job teaching English in another country because that's the only job I can find. Um, so, you know, with any luck, like that'll, I, I can do the same thing as well. You know? Oh, you applied for Jet and Interact? Interact? What? Have I, have I looked into Interact? Uh... Japan. I don't know if that was on my list. What are the qualifications for this? Actually, I should look into that. Oh, this is for ALTs. Okay. What are what are the requirements? Probably at least a degree. Yeah, bachelor's degree. Well, I'm working on that. I'm under 60 years of age. So Let's see. Oh, how, while not required, it helps your chances if you have a teaching qualification, e.g. CELTA, DELTA, and TEFL. Okay, okay. Um, is that the digital homeschooling? Uh, this one is for actual teaching, I believe. I really, I don't want to do online, like, Zoom lessons because I have heard very, not only do they pay shit, like, I've seen, like, like, these, like, oh, like, we're looking for teachers to, like, teach lessons in Korea, like, digitally. You can teach it from your house. Just, you know, you have to wake up at, like, 5 in the morning or stay up till, like, 2 a.m. to do lessons. But I have heard, like, not only do they not pay well, but I've heard that there's a lot of, like, how do I say this? I have heard complaints from female teachers about the behavior of male students in their lessons and that they can't really do anything about it if a student just decides to act inappropriately towards them. And I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that, you know? Um, I mean, that's not like, like, not only that, but like having to deal with that and being paid like, you know, less than $20 an hour, less than like 15, honestly. I think they, the one I was looking at paid like $12 an hour. Like that's just, that's just absurd. That's just ridiculous. I'm not putting myself through that, you know? Um, also because like, I don't know, I, I, I just like, I don't particularly like, I want to work with kids. Like I like working with kids, I do. I've, I've had previous jobs where I've worked with kids before and I it's something I do actually enjoy. So for me, like, it's it also because like i don't know i just don't do as well in like zoom lessons than i do like you know in-person lessons so i feel like the same way it is better to have like an in-person explanation kind of thing um but yeah requirements for residents huh okay oh jd hello welcome in bachelor's degree in any subject yeah you don't it doesn't even need to be 
a bachelor's degree like in like english it could be in fucking basket weaving and you just need to have the degree they don't fucking care <laughs> Kids, I would say, like, like I've only worked with kids from, like, I would say 0 to 12. That is the age range that I have worked with. I really don't want to work with high schoolers. High schoolers scare me. Like, genuinely. I'm, I'm scared of high schoolers. I don't want to work with high schoolers. I can deal with anyone under the age of, like, 12 years old. 12 years old is kind of, like, they're starting to get a little bit, like, you can't tell me what to do. And it's like, okay, like, whatever, dude. Like, just, just sit your ass down. Um... Because, like, there, there definitely is a certain age range where once they start getting too rebellious, they just, like, get kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. And it's like, I get it, because it's like, I was also at that age. But it's frustrating because, like, as an adult, you know that there's nothing really you can do about it. Like, they're just going to act like that because they think you're, they're better than you because, like, they're young and hot shit and you're, like, old and musty, crusty, disgusting, ew. <laughs> you know? Oh, man. But, you know, from what I've heard, most jobs, like, are usually working with, like, younger kids. Like, they usually, they usually, like, from what I've seen, a lot of people end up working with younger kids because that seems to be where the most demand is. Will we be working with kids in the near future? I'm, I'm hoping so. That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, ugh. Made it to the interview segment of the process, didn't make it, but I've heard one of the proctors got told me out of the 9,000 applicants, only 350 got selected, so it's very competitive. Yeah, yeah, it is competitive. Like, it even says here, although TEFL can be advantageous, it is not a mandatory requirement. So, you know, if it'll help me, because here's the thing, here's the thing. I do think I'm a qualified applicant because I have lived in Japan previously. I have I have experience with that. I know what is it is like to live and get around. I can take care of myself. I can survive. Um, I will have a bachelor's degree. I will have a TEFL certificate, and I have experience previously working with children. So I I would say I have like a decent amount of things going for me. Um, I'm also, you know not married which is also from what i've heard very advantageous as well because i've heard people like get disqualified because like they're married and they can't bring their spouse over and like they don't want to deal with people who like have you know commitments elsewhere so with any yeah with any luck i should be a shoe in right with any luck with any luck what i actually really don't want to do i know the money is better i know the money is better for teaching adults but i really don't want to teach adults because working with adults sucks. Working with adults is just not fun. Like, like kids are fun to work with. Kids, I, I think working with kids is fun. I do not think working with adults is fun, especially when it comes to teaching. Because, like, adults get frustrated and give up, like, much faster than kids do. You know, they're like, oh, I, I can't, I can't do this. I can't get this. So I'm, I'm going to quit. And it's like, well, you know, you just got to put more work into it. Um, although, like I said, it does pay better, but just like, I don't just, I just don't like working with adults. It's not fun. <laughs> when having no risk is a financial move. It is, it is. You know, you, you save, you save a lot of money being single. You do. Imagine how our college professors felt. have a lawyer to help with the red tape of moving legal mindset late legal mindset does really the the guy who does vtuber drama news now <laughs> that's crazy that's crazy oh damn i mean like i i would hope that if they are going to be giving me a visa they would help me find housing too but i do know people who would be able to help me find housing. Like I actually, I, I, I have some friends living in Japan. I have some people who have businesses there and I think they would be able to help me out with that. But that is good to know that Legal Mindset offers his services. Although I don't imagine he's that cheap. Well, he lives in Thailand, doesn't he? Does he do, does he do stuff for people moving to Japan as well? I'm gonna... What are, what are his qualifications? Um, does he have like a website or something? Let me check his Twitter. Legalmindset.locals.com? 
he does mail order bride stuff for his day job. Not sure if he covers Japan. Oh, that explains a lot, actually. That explains a lot. Like, I, I don't... Like, a lot of people kind of rag on him for being sort of like a... Like, a grifter in the VTuber scheme. And... He kind of is, but he's also... I think he's knowledgeable. I think he knows what he's talking about. For the most part. Maybe not for everything, but... Let's see. Horses? Well, he has a picture of Japan on his website. He has a picture of Japan on his website. Does he have, like, a consultation fee? We need cookies. Okay, you can use my cookies. Uh, use its cookies. I, I, sure, why not? Use my cookies. I don't know why you need them. Um, consultation for Thailand only. Oh, yeah, I think he only does Thailand. I think he only does Thailand. Yeah, the law is so big and convoluted that no single man can know all of it. Yeah. I mean, like, Thailand isn't, like, off the table for me. Like, if Japan doesn't work out, I would be fine going to somewhere else in Southeast Asia. Um, like, you know, Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Taiwan. Um, Thailand, I would be okay with depending on where I am. Because my, my issue with Thailand, and I've been to Thailand before, is that I get eaten alive by mosquitoes. I get eaten alive by mosquitoes. And when I was there... None of the mosquito repellent that I bought worked. None of it worked. And like, I don't want to get dengue fever or malaria or God knows what other diseases m mosquitoes carry. You know, like I need to protect myself. And if I am like naturally a mosquito magnet, <laughs> that might not be like a good place for me to be. I, I do not want to get a mosquito borne illness. You know, South Korea, I don't, I really don't want to go to South Korea. I Because it's like... Like, here's the thing. I have heard that the work culture in South Korea is worse than Japan. I, I have heard that the... I mean, I would get to drink I, cheap soju. Cheap soju. I mean, if I don't get strong zero, I could at least get cheap soju. But, like, I have heard that the work culture there is genuinely worse than in Japan. Um, and also, I don't know any Korean. And, you know, it's also another country where it's like there's not really... There's no Twitch in South Korea. That's an, Yeah, I wouldn't be able to stream either. Yeah, they closed Twitch in South Korea. And I think now they use a different website. Um, I saw, I heard about it the other day. I don't remember. I think people use YouTube or something else. But yeah, no, they closed Twitch in South Korea because um, the South Korean government was charging them like massive amounts of money to operate there. And they just decided to close up shop. So all the people living in Korea have to stream on YouTube or um, some other platform that I forget the name of. Mm. but yeah because like i mean i would i really want to go to taiwan just like on vacation i want to go to taiwan <laughs> but like uh, my, my one of my friends keeps telling me like yeah i don't know with like the rising tensions it's probably not a good idea and i'm like yeah well if i'm like on vacation i don't think it's gonna be fine and they also keep having like earthquakes there as well um but I, I, I wouldn't mind going to Taiwan or Hong Kong. Because, I mean, at, at least those places, there's a lot of English speakers too, right? Actually, wait, Hong Kong might actually be a little bit worse for, like, teaching English. Because from what I've heard, the, um, the government is crack not cracking down, but they're, they're doing less English teaching because of Chinese influence. Like, they're not teaching English, like, as much or as thoroughly or, like, I, I don't know what the exact details of it are, but they're not, they're not teaching English, like, as a, as a second language anymore, from what I've heard. Like, it is something you can learn, but it's not really, like, they're, they're trying to, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole political thing. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. But if you, if you know, then you know. But I, I do have to say that, like, relearning about the English language has been slightly maddening for me. <laughs> because, like, like with gerunds, they'll introduce something and I'll be like, what the hell is that? Why? I, what the hell? Like, what the hell is this? 
and then they, they tell me, they give me an example and I'm like, oh, I know exactly what this is and how to use it. And then they're like, okay. And then they give me like, okay, now you have to like, you have to pick out the whatever in this sentence. And I'm like, well, I, I, I'm like, I don't know. There's certain things that I'm good at and certain things that I'm not good at, but like, I don't know is like teaching gerunds is, is that like like if I never learned about it how helpful can it be to for like a non-English speaker to learn about it you know like I get that like when you teach English to a native like someone who is like a native speaker like teaching English to a baby and teaching English to like a grown or slightly grown person is like two different things but like I don't know like in in general like when learning a language like the thing that helps the most and the thing that helped me the most is practice and examples and that's something that drives me crazy about like learning Japanese is that my textbooks would give me like two maybe three examples and be like okay that's it that's all you're getting and that's and that's not enough for me I need like 50 examples in order to actually understand how like to use the piece of grammar or the word or the particle right like I need more examples and like that was another thing that was stupid about my school is that they never really like like gave us that much work for that sort of thing it was just kind of like okay here's like five more examples now we're gonna move on to the next thing and it's like I, I would always have an incomplete knowledge of how to use any piece of grammar at any time and it was also kind of irritating because like whenever I'd like say that to a teacher, they'd be like, well, you just need to do more practice on your own time. You need to you need to do more on your own time. And it's like, I am paying you to teach me. What do you mean I need to do more? I'm, like, obviously, yes, I do think that you need to practice on your own time. But it's like I'm spending four hours in class, like a four hours, four or five hours a day in class. And then like and I'm paying for it. And then you're they're like oh yeah well you know you need to do more on your own time like hello what am i what am i paying you for what what am i paying you for like it, hello like <laughs> what, 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 am I, what am i paying you for you know oh man but yeah yeah also that's right yeah consuming local media also helps i i, I was encouraged to buy some books and i actually i still have it some of my uh, manga that's in japanese um I haven't really read much of it since then because like like some some stuff I have read and like I would have to like consult my dictionary whenever I read something like to understand something but it was always very satisfying when like like I would read this comedy manga and there would be a joke and I'd be like what I don't understand and then I'd look up I'd like look up what the words meant and I'd be like oh, I get it now it's actually funny <laughs> So that was that was always interesting. Um, oh, let's see what else. Oh, right. I, I should probably introduce this now. Um, but in case I don't know if it showed up for you guys on the Twitch stream. I don't know if it showed up for you guys because it says like if you got a warning about branded content. But I do actually have a surprise for you guys. Um, I have a partnership now with a brand. I have a partnership now with a brand. I, I I don't want to call it a sponsor because they're not really sponsoring me to do anything. It is more like a brand partnership. Like I have my own code and everything. But um, yeah, I am I I actually that's that's one of the things I was doing when I visited Japan earlier this year. Is not my brand. <laughs> it's it's not my brand. It's not my brand. I was um I was actually visiting them and I was checking out their wares and the stuff they sell is high quality. Um, I actually did not approach them for this. They actually approached me um, because full disclosure, this brand is run by one of my friends and I have several friends who are involved in this brand. So I'm just, just putting that out there for full disclosure. But um, it, is a, it is a jewelry brand. It is a jewelry brand. And let me, let's see, let me get this set up here real fast. Let me get this set up here. Uh, I have my own code and oh no that's not it oh dear why is it not hold on a second that is not what the fuck it was working earlier gosh why does nothing ever work when i need it to work 
Oh dear. Okay, hold on a second. I I had this set up and now it's not working. Uh okay. Let's try this now. There we go. Okay, now it's working. Now it's working. Um it it is not my merch. It is not my merch. So the brand is called uh, I Cetus Jewelry. They are on Etsy. They make jewelry for both men and women. Um, it is all it's all silver. It's all sterling silver, uh, 925, I believe. They have some really nice stuff. This is all made in Japan, too, by the way. This is all made in Japan. Um, but yeah, this is a brand. You can't see it. It's, it's run by, I know the people who run it. They're all very nice. Their products are all very high quality. Um, let me show you some stuff here. Gotta move this one over a little bit. They have necklaces. These are, most of these, I believe, are unisex. Um, like, I know this one specifically was designed with, like, I believe, men in mind. But, you know, anyone can use it. Um, let's see. Yeah, material silver. It's got a topaz gemstone as well. This one is very nice. But they mostly focus on designs that are inspired by Japan. And inspired by, you know, like, tradition. Like, you can see with this ring, it has that really nice um, texture design in there. I don't recall off the top of my head what this design is called, but it is a very traditional Japanese design. They also have different sizes as well. So if you happen to know your ring size, they have a variety of sizes. Um, I just realized you can't see the drop down menu, but they have 15 millimeters to 22 millimeters. I, I am not sure what size I am off the top of my head. I should ask them if they can put like regular, oh, they, they have a chart. They actually do have a chart here, okay. They have a chart as well, if you don't know what your ring size is in millimeters, because Lord knows that I don't. Um, but yeah, this is all sterling silver, 925, completely handmade in Japan. Um, one of the things they have that I was actually looking at was this really nice, this really nice Sakura pendant right here. This one's really cute. This one's very delicate, really pretty. Um, not, I'm not trying to like sell you guys or anything on it, but these are, you know, I, I told them like, hey, my audience is like 99% male, so I don't know how well this is gonna do. And they said, that's fine. Just like, you know, just promote it the best you can anyway. And if you can sell one thing, then we'll be happy with that. So, you know, if you guys wanna buy gifts, you know, mothers, sisters, cousins, perhaps, perhaps a girlfriend, you know, perhaps. <laughs> this is, this stuff I would definitely recommend. Um, I, I, it does slay, it does slay. And it is very, this is very demure. This is very mindful. It is, it is both of these things. Um, this, this is really just like overall a really nice design. I, I really like this one. It's a very lovely, it's like a simple design, but it's, it's classy. It's demure. It's mindful. It slays. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to, trying to be open about it, Moose. I'm trying to be open about it, right? This one, this is one of their newest designs. This one is very, very nice. Very detailed on here. It's got a really nice fish design that you can sort of see the detail in here. It's really, it's, I'm not sure how they cut it. I know it's done by hand, but it is a very nice cut. And this one is kind of like a little tag too, I believe. Does it say the size of it? Um, this one, yeah, this one is pretty rad. I like this one. It says it's 15 millimeters. Uh, pendant height, 21.5 millimeters. I don't know what that means, but a millimeter is less than a centimeter. So, you know, get a calculator and figure it out for yourself. <laughs> What else do they have? Uh, oh, they have another pendant as well. That's like it. Um, this one is a little bit simpler. This one has like the flowers on it and like the little waves. This one is a cool one too. I like the design of these. They're kind of like dog tags. So they do have a bit of like a, they kind of like this one is nice because while the shape is reminiscent of a dog tag and it does kind of have that like masculine vibe to it. If you look closely, you see the flowers and it gives you like, shows like kind of a sensitivity. You know, kind of, kind of like a sensitive side, right? What I'm really interested in the rings because I am not really like a necklace or any like I don't have pierced ears, but I really like rings. So the rings are what I am the most interested in, and you know, like I said earlier, they come in a variety of sizes. This is another nice design as well. This one I quite like. But yeah, you can see kind of like the size difference here. 
I just realized I should probably link the website to oopsie daisy. Let me let me put that in the chat here. And I should also mention, uh, yeah, let's put it on like 20 minutes. I have a code as well. I have a code with them. If you use the code SEAL15, you get 15% off of your order. Oop. Put that in the chat. SEAL15, if you want to get 15% off of your order. Um, I will put this in the Discord. I'll put this on my Twitter in case anyone is interested. But yeah, thank you so much to Cetus Jewelry for uh, being a partnership with me. Thank you so much. I will do my best. Well, I'll do what I can. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I told them I do what I can. But yeah, seal 15, get 15% off of your order. 15% off of like $130. That's nothing to sneeze at. That's nothing to sneeze at. That's, that's decent. That's decent. Especially for jewelry too, because jewelry like jewelry like this doesn't really go on sale that often. Actually, they did give me a link. They did give me a link. I should probably, oh dear. Can I pin multiple messages? Hold on, I'm gonna make a new message. Uh, can I type please? There we go. Now I'll pin this one. There we go. Hopefully there's not two messages pinned. That would be awkward. Yeah, that one should be good. All right, I'll keep that on there. But yeah, thank you guys for uh, sitting here and listening to my my spiel. Thank you. I'm gonna keep this open just in case. Oh dear. But I suppose we should get to, uh, speak, speaking of seals, speaking of seals, um, we should probably get to the reason why I gathered you all here today, which is for seals, specifically uh, a seal deal. Yes, a seal deal. I haven't touched this game in like two weeks, so I'm a little bit worried about like my um, molding problem, <laughs> shall we call it, rearing its head again. <sighs> so we'll see. Also, my headache still has not really gone away. Um, and if I get mad, that's probably going to make it worse. So we'll see. We'll see how long this lasts. We'll see how long this lasts. Let me get it set up here. There we go. I do have my controller plugged in. Yeah, my controller is plugged in. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's, it's loading still. It's loading. <laughs> I'm so happy I get to see the seal. But what if the seal makes me mad? He gives me like a hard level and it makes me upset. That will be unfortunate. There we go. Okay, and let me switch over here. There we go. Let's see, can you hear it okay? Then go like this. Squeeze. <laughs> That's a cute emote. I like that one. That's cute. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the sound is there. Okay, I don't know why I thought there was no sound. Okay. I make sure the controller works. Oh, I have to click on the game. Okay. Oh, new challenge. I'm not doing a challenge room. Seal the deal. I think I have this. Oh god, I have to remember how to play too. Oh, I can close this. Okay. This is the DLC. Yeah, I know. I know. I know the Yakuza Metro DLC was supposedly pretty difficult, but um, Roto told me that the um, the Seal DLC should be like easy enough for me. I just have to figure out how to access it. Oh god, it's lagging. Okay, there we go. Ooh, what's up with the frame rate? Are you guys- wait. Okay, that was weird. The frame rate just tanked for a second. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um, I think it's over here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is it. 
Yeah, okay. Here we go. The Arctic Cruise. Oh, look at the seals. They're so cute. <laughs> loading? There we go. Nope, still loading? Okay. There we go. That's the big ass cruise ship. <gasps> Look at the seals! Ew. Look at they're so cute. Okay, I still remember how to dash cancel. Okay. Hello, seal. Are we ready to sail? <laughs> Why does he sound like that? Hello. We hope you have a great time. <gasps> he's so cute. Oh my god, he's so cute. Welcome to the cruise, miss. He's so cute. Uh, you look a little young to be sailing alone, pup. Mm, whatever. Just don't get in anyone's way. The crew do enough of that already. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, hello. You look like a hey SpongeBob there, dude. Do that, I mean. I'm like ready for a nice cruise, aren't you? <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing fishy about this ship, you know? You know? I got ripped off on a dodgy vacation last year. It was like, not rad at all. Uh-huh. Ooh. Oh, okay. I was supposed to double jump, all right. Oh, look at this seal! He's so cute! Oh, hello. Ah, first you kill me, then you torment me by booking passage on the only cruise liner here with facilities for people in jars. Such a rude little child. Were I not in a pleasant holiday mood, and still without a body, I would take my revenge right here and now. Well, sorry. Uh, let's walk around a little bit more. Oh, I could, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I gotta crush that. Oh god, how do I use my powers again? Um, there we go. There we go. Okay. What the hell is this? <laughs> Slimer! Ooh, wait a minute. It's you again! Uh, you show up in my forest, assault me, refuse to leave. And then turn up to ruin my vacation too? You really are just the worst. No, kiddo. don't say that. Yes, I'm hiding in the crate. Tickets are expensive. <laughs> Love Slimer. PBR. Whoever they are, they're good at making shiny things. Oh, hello. What's going on? Over Ew, what the hell is that? Oh, is that just fish? Fibsh. What the hell is that? Oh dear god. Wait, how do I how do I attack again? Oh like wait, hold on. Oh dear god, hold on. How do I No, how do I how do I attack? Okay, like that, okay. There we go. There we go. Forgot how to attack. Ooh, coin. What's up here? Nothing? No? Okay. What are these guys up to? Oh dear god. Oh, ouch. Oh shit, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Oh god. <laughs> I haven't even started the game and I'm already dying. Oh dear. There we go. 
Oh, what is this? Oh, here we go. Yippee! A will dive me to cancel. Why would I cancel my dive? There we go. Oh, dear God. Okay. Wait, what? Ah, ah, ah. Shit, 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 shit. Wait, why couldn't I grab onto that? Why couldn't I grab onto that? Oh, wait, is it, is it like moving? Is it like moving? There we go. Oh, fuck. I dropped. I, I let go again. Oops. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's it's been a while. It's been a while. <gasps> Look it out. Attention. This is your it's captain so speaking. Yeah, is, is this thing turned on? <laughs> Hello. All passengers, please check in at the lobby desk. I'll be on board shortly. Okay. I tried to get the boss to tell us about his next movie before we left, but he's tight beaked about it. Let's go down here. Whee! Oh, look at the seals in the pool! Oh, he's so cute! Oh my god, they're so cute! Oh. I thought the pool would be heated seeing as it's so cold out, but it isn't. I almost froze my feathers off trying to take a dip earlier. Oh, I see. So that was that thing. Wait. Oh my god. He's looking. It's like a little, it's a little bar. Oh, can I get a drinky drink? Oh, he's so cute. Egg. Oh, he, did he say egg? He said egg. He said egg. He said egg. Oh, he's just like the seal in the video. Egg. Egg. Leg. Oh, I have, I have an orb. Leg. Leg. Hello. Hello, silly lifeguard seal. Uh, excuse me. No warning by the pool, please and thanks. I don't know what everyone's talking about, kid. The pool temperature's fine to me. Wait, is this a bathroom for seals? It's a bathroom for seals. Look at his little tiki. His little tiki house. It's so cute. Hi. Would you like to buy a pool toy? We have all kinds of shapes and sizes, and they float. So cute. Oh. How could I be angry when all these seals are so cute? Oh my goodness. This is this is so cute. He's sitting in the chair. Oh, balloons. Oh, am I not supposed to be here? Oh wait, never mind. Oh, oh dear. Is there a secret door down there? There's like a window down there or something. Oh, I should get this health. Oh, what's this? Okay. Oh, there's a present there. Okay. Nice. Oh, I see. Is that what that uh, thing is for? Oh, okay. Have I explored everything here? I haven't gone over there yet, have I? Can I go over there? Can I go in here? Doesn't look like I can get in here yet. Oh, hey, dude. How's it going? Not everything I sell. It... Scooter, dying, and the weird noises. Okay, I don't really need any of those. wonder how I get in there. 
Doesn't seem like I can get in there yet. Welcome aboard. Okay, let's go inside. How do I? How do I? How do I open the door? Oh, there we go. Please watch Hello. your step, Miss. It's a big drop past this railing. Oh. Oh yeah, it is a big drop past the railing. Okay. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Hmm. Seals are driving me mad. At They're least not annoying. you, rude child, have the good grace to keep quiet. They're cute. They're seals. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, there's some balloons here. Okay. Nice. Oh. So where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, maybe I am supposed to go down there. Okay. Hmm. You might be a little bit biased. Perhaps. Hello. Hello, miss. We hope you like the ship. We work very hard to keep it clean and tidy. Oh, well, you're not doing a very good job. But it's okay. Let's see. over there. Oh, there's an owl guy over there. Do you have anything to say? No? Okay. Oh, dear. I forgot to download anything to listen to before I left. And there's no Wi-Fi signal out here. This holiday is the worst. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Oh, what's in here? Oh, this so is just a room. Okay. Oh, there's a lovely garden down here. <laughs> it's a seal mermaid. Merma seal. Oh, that's so silly. Is there anything behind the waterfall? No? Okay. Where's the shot? Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Look at this little guy. Hello, little dude. Wing. Oh, he's squishy. He's squishy. Can I squeeze through here? No. The reception is this way, miss. Oh, the reception. Down there? Wait, what's over here? There's something down here, though. Kind of scared to go down there. Oh, I see. Okay. Ooh, bouncy. Wait, what's this? Ooh. Oh, just a heart here? Oh, little guy. Take a look at that ocean. Isn't it beautiful? Mm-hmm. Oh. Snack machines. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Attention passengers and crew. Oh wow, okay. Is now leaving. Please try not to fall off. Oh, I suppose that's the reception. <gasps> Look at how cute they are. Hello. Y'all checked in. Now to track down that timepiece. How can I help you? You're looking for something that looks like this? Hmm. 
Well, have I seen that? Thinking very hard. <laughs> so cute. Oh no, it broke. <gasps> oh, I remember. We broke one of those and hid it from the captain. He wouldn't be very happy if he knew we made a mess. Look at the computer. It says oopsie whoopsie. Can you guys see that? If you zoom in on the computer, it says oopsie whoopsie. We tried to clean it up, but um, we didn't do a very good job, and we washed some of the pieces. They washed some of the I'm pieces. I'm very sorry, miss. Please don't be upset. How could I be upset with a face like that? How could I possibly be upset when such a cute seal is cute? Maybe you could stick it back together if you find the missing shards. Looks like there's one in every room. Okay. Oh, I see. That show it shows where the shards are. Okay. Let's look around. Maybe there's something hidden here. Oh, look at the TV. It's got like a seal reading the news on it. Seal news. Oh, I want to watch the seal news. That's the only kind of news I want to hear. Have you come to make it? No, just the same shit. Okay. You feeling lucky? Yeah. Feeling lucky? Oh, gambling? I don't believe in gambling. Sorry. Oh, there's a casino. Just kidding. I do believe in gambling. Oh, there's a timepiece here. Okay. You need chips to play. <laughs> the seals are gambling. Hmm. You look too young to gamble to me. Sorry, miss. Also, please stay off the desk. <laughs> He's so cute. How do I how do I gamble? Did I just steal these chips? No one will notice. <laughs> There's a shard stuck inside the machine. Okay, I got one shard. Oh, there's stuff up here. Hold on. Oh dear. Do I have full health? Yeah, I have full health. Okay. This way to the. Uh, I mean, hello. That's. Is there something over there as well? I can't tell. Oh, Hi. hey, do that. Oh, there's I was another one over there. Chilling, you know, and I noticed this broken glass around. Weird, right? It belongs to you? Oh, cool, I guess. <laughs> no judgment, you know. Pretty gnarly picking that stuff up with your bare hands, but like whatever floats your boat, you know? Let's see. How am I going to get that? Do I just There we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. What's this? There's a shard here? I don't even know where I am right now. Oh, hey, dude. I'm busy, pup. The ship doesn't steer itself. Look at the seals. They're pressing the button. They like to press the button. Oh, okay. Wait, this. I know where I am now, I think. There's more stuff over there. Oh, what's that? Well, oh, hey, dude. Hi there. How's it going? To tell you the truth, it feels good to have someone else cooking for a change. Though I wonder what their kitchen is like. The seal kitchen? Ooh, I want to see that. Oh dear, moving tables. Oh, ouch? Okay. I gotta be careful. Oh, there we go, right here. Mafia bit down on something hard in this food. Child should take it back to- Oh cool, can, you, can I have it? Mafia bit down- 
Right. Ouchie! Fire's really hot! Oh, it's the shard! Yay! Oh, there's another shard up there. Okay. Oh, oh dear. I'm covered in muck again. How do I get uncovered in muck? Is there like... Oh, there we go. That's how I get uncovered in muck. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, there's the health piece there. Wait, let me get that health piece. Ah, wait, I can't freaking see. I just get 11 of them? Oh, goodness. <gasps> Hello. These towels are very comfy. Oh, he likes the towel. I'm supposed to be working, but it's so nice. Oh, he likes the towel. That's so cute. That's so cute. This just also goes down there? Okay. Oh wait, what's over there? Hold on. There's something over here too. Detergent, okay. Oh, it's not, where's the detergent? Hmm. Where do I find the detergent? Up here? Where the seal was? This one's right there. Hold on. Where? Oh, okay. I see what I have to do. There we go. It's sealed detergent. Oh dear, goodness gracious, what is in here? Hmm. There we go. Any more? Uh, oh, there's one up there too. Ah, how do I get that? Oh dear. Watch your step there, Spock. Whoa. It'd be real shocking if you slipped. I'm positive they could make it a little safer down here. But I guess that really amp up the costs. Anyway, it's nice to have a guest down here. Most folks don't appreciate the hard work I put in to keep the mood electric. Cool. That guy scared me a little bit. Uh, let's see, how do I get across? Oh, just like over here? Oh yeah, like that. Cool. Oh, I got a relic. Mm, kill him? No! What's this? Mm. No, I want this one. No? Okay, what about, uh, this one? Oh. Oh god, I can't see anything. Oh dear god, what is happening? Where am I? Oh, I'm back here again? Okay. His puns ruined your night? No! Wait, if I- okay. This is just gonna take me back here. Can I go through here? Oh, this takes me back it's to the kitchen. It's very hard to reach up these counters. Maybe we should have gotten some smaller ones. Or some smaller ones. Oh, what are you doing in the sink? Look at him, he's in the sink. Hello, I'm on a break. He's on a break. Oh, I hope he enjoys his break. Whoops, 
We forgot to secure the tables. They're sliding all over the place. Oh. No one can blame you for that, silly seal. Oop, oh dear. Welcome, ma'am. I don't think we have any tables for one right now. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Oh, it's an elevator. Ooh, fancy. Oh wait, I know where I am. Oh, this I is where I was trying to get into. Nice new people on Chirper today. I'm sure I won't regret it. Oh, this is like the baby area. Are there other baby seals? Oh no, they're baby birds. Okay. The handwriting's surprisingly good for a seal. Oh, hello. Mm-hmm. Egg. Egg. Any more? The more you carry, the more it wobbles. Oh dear. Oh, I see. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, it's the conductor. Give me a sinking ship on the rocks. Oh, I make the good part to double. Oh, I didn't notice you there, lassie. I roam an we? If you're after a drink, I think they might have some wee bottles of juice. Oh, oh my god, there's a fly in my face. Jesus Christ. You're a capable one, sure. But what I'm having is near for young lasses. Get the fuck away from me. Oh my god. Hold on, I gotta try to kill this gnat in my room. Hold on, I'm gonna try to kill him. Okay, I killed it. Left a stain on my wall though, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to clean that off. Okay, uh, let's see. You must be this small to enter. Oh. I'm thinking of quitting the movie business. Conductor's movies are always just action. Where's the drama? Where's the artistry? Maybe I could work in video games instead. Good luck with that. Over there? Okay. Oh dear. In the pool? This hat isn't particularly helpful to me right now. Go through here. Mm. Have I gone over here yet? Oh wait, there's something over here. I haven't gone over here yet, have I? to help the baby seal because he's just a baby let's see what do you want pup one of the crew hurt themselves again what do i look like a doctor kiss it better yourself <laughs> i have to kiss it better <gasps> to smooch i can give him a smooch <gasps> 
people kissing my ouchiness. I feel better already. I found a shiny glass, but it's all yours. He's so cute. Oh, I kissed his ouchie better. I'm gonna cry. So cute. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I gotta find the rest of the shards. I don't know where to look. Is there one up there? Oh, there is one up there. Okay. Okay, how do I get there? Uh, there should be a... I already talked to you. Oh, there we go. Nine out of 11. Okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. He was missing one of his feathers. Let's leave the casino. So I think this thing says where the shard is, right? So there is one in here, and then there's one in the other part of the ship. Hmm. I didn't go over here yet, did I? There's the seal moves. This is the only bathroom on this thing. There has to be another way in. Oh, I'm getting desperate over here, kid. Hello. Sorry. I crashed a food court and spilled the drinks, so the bathroom is closed right now. Okay, can I clean it up? <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god. Okay, so there is one in this part of the ship. Okay. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, hello. Ew, the toilet's overflowing. Where's this go? Oh, this takes me back to the kitchen. Okay. Oh dear. Try that one again. Oh, this just takes me back here, okay. Okay, so there is one in this area, it seems. Oh, there it is, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, uh, okay, I know where it is. Might be the last one, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Got him. Yay! Hopefully, the captain isn't going to be evil and try to steal it. Let's see. How do I get back over there? Oh, where does this take me? Oh, okay, I know where to go. Is there something there? No, it's just a light. Okay. Uh, hold on. Mm. Oh, here we go. Right in here. Yay! A rare stick. 
sticker. I'm not gonna go get it. That was, oh my god, those seals are so cute. I almost cried. Oh goodness. Oh Christ, my headache is not getting any better. I might need to lie down for a bit. Oh dear. <sighs> okay, we'll do one more. Chip shape. Oh, dear. Ooh, ouch. Oh, Christ. Oh, man. Oh, God. I took, like, four ibuprofen, too. Oh, man. Probably should have delayed stream. Ooh, lost stuff. Okay. Hi, miss. How can I help you? Oh? There's something you want in the wasp and found? Hmm. The captain lets us pick something from it if we work very, very hard. Maybe you could help. But you'd have to ask him nicely. Just follow the mess to his room. Follow the mess. Okie dokie. You're feeling lucky. Yeah, it was over here. I scratched my nose again. Actually, wait, I could go. I could no, I have to go through here to get there, I think. Was it through here or was it somewhere else? Oh dear, I don't remember. Um back here. What's that, pup? You want to help out? Huh. Yeah, sure. Maybe something will get done around this mess of a boat for once. All right. You'll need to deliver drinks, some food, and a few other things. And do it quickly, pup. Oh, and there are some other jobs that'll need doing, so pay attention. Are you ready to start? Ugh. Yeah. You can start by getting rid of some of these boxes for me. It's starting to get messy in here. Is this a takeout box? What is this? Wait, can I pick up multiple boxes? There's only one box. I don't know. Where do I go? Oh, down there? the arrows tell me where to go. Oh, 
Oh dear, what is even happening right now? Uh, wait, what do I do with this? Okay, I have to go back out again. Uh, okay. Do I have to- wait, oh, shit, where the hell am I going? Oh dear god. Uh, shit. Where am I going? Okay, I have to go over there. Fix the bathroom? Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Okay. Oh dear, I'm running out of time. Oh, this is stressful. I still have to do the laundry too. Oh boy. Okay, let's... What about the laundry though? No, no, what do I have to do for the laundry? Now I need the detergent, I think? Yeah. Oh dear. No detergent? Okay. Wait, no, no, what about this? Oh god. Okay, I have to go up there for that. Uh, or do I just stay here? No, it wants me to leave. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. This goes over here. Oh god, this is stressful. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, over here. Thank you, miss. Okay, I have to give this to the octopus. Something to the octopus, I suppose. Uh, wait, no, I'm supposed to go this way? Okay. No, wait, where am I supposed to go? Hold on. I, I, okay. Oh dear. Okay, the octopus. Wait, I gotta, hold on. Ow, okay. Ow, fuck you. I can't see it. I couldn't see it. Oh my god. Oh, Emmy, hello, welcome in. I couldn't fucking see the fire. That was bullshit. Do I have to do the whole... No way, I have to do the whole thing over again? Are you surreal? Dude. That's absurd. you what do i do with this is this cook okay i guess i have to do the laundry 
There it is. Maybe I should do the food stuff first instead of going from like task to task. Oh, dear God. I, why? No, I B, grab it. Okay, more cooking. What do I do with this? Do I have to put this in the oven? What do I do with this? I have to bring it up there? Wait, what, what the hell do I do with this? Okay. It's telling me to go out, so I guess I'll go out. Oh dear god. Jesus Christ, it's not... No, I'm not doing the luggage thing right now. I need to figure out where the hell this thing goes. Because, like, I assume the gold one is where I'm supposed to bring it, but I don't know. Shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm feeling... Fe oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I'm, like, sweating right now. I'm, like, genuinely sweating. Oh, my God. This is not making my headache any better. Going back into the kitchen. There's no way this has to go all the way up there. It doesn't go to these guys? Then where the hell does it go? I don't understand. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh my god. I guess I'll just follow the stupid arrows. I suppose I'm not supposed to fail any of these either. Please pass these plain, uncoded messages along for oh, Wait, me. what's over here? Ah, thank you for these ordinary letters. Oh, I, well, there's here. something up there. Okay. Get up. Let's go to the casino now. Okay. Oh dear God! Did something just expire? What am I? Su what do you? What? Why are there? Oh my God! Okay, I guess that task just expired. That's great. Oh my Lord! What is it? Why are you telling me? Is there a way to, like, change the tasks or something? Because I genuinely don't know what it wants me to do right now. It's like telling me to go down there, but the child needs to go somewhere else. Oh my god, I... Holy shit, hold on, I need to take a break. I am, like, sweating right now. I am, like, I genuinely feel feverish. Oh my god. Shit, I... Oh god, I think I'm gonna have to end stream. I, like, really don't feel good right now. I have a headache, and I am, like, sweating like crazy. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I hate to disappoint you guys, but I, I don't feel too good right now, and I don't think playing the game is helping. Oh, uh, dear God. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired, I have a headache, and now I'm feeling, like, feverish. So I'm not sure what the problem is. Um, I probably just need to rest. I probably just need to lie down for a bit. Oh, dear. And I, I had food for lunch, too. I had, like, a decent lunch. But... Probably, uh, probably just the headache. Not really a good idea. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, but... Yeah. Thank you for being understanding. Um, let me switch over to the ending screen and tell you guys what I'm doing. 
So uh, tomorrow is going to be, hopefully, if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling good, if I'm still feeling good, hard space. Um, Friday is going to be Metro with heart rate monitor. Saturday, I'm not sure what I'm doing. And then Sunday is going to be power wash. Yeah, I, I am streaming a lot this week. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm overdoing it. I, I may be overdoing it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, I, I, I'm not going to raid today. I, I genuinely don't feel well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go here. But before I go, I'm going to say my outro. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're from. And hopefully, I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.